What is going on, everyone? PK here. Welcome back. We are out here in the ocean, kayak fishing in my favorite spot. Well, my only spot, actually. Now, today's tide is very interesting because it is a negative tide right now. I think it's a minus half a foot. With that, it's a little rough. I see the swells building up on the north reef. So I gotta be really careful about that. There's really no wind right now. And the good thing is it is an incoming high tide. Those swells that's building up, it should subside later on because the water's higher. It's not so close to the reef. And, but it, that won't happen until like around nine or 10. It is six o'clock, 6 a.m. We got a little fog here. Man, oh man, thank goodness for GPS. So let's get situated and try to catch some fish. Holy smokes, those breakers are gnarly. I don't want to be on the reef today, that's for sure. The spot I want to go to is on the edge of that reef. <laughs> However, those waves are gnarly. They're really, really gnarly. They build up right on that reef and then uh, they crash. Okay, it is 627. Low tide was about 530. So I noticed they are crashing towards the north end of the reef. But the south end, I've been staring at it for about the last 15 minutes. It's a little calmer. But I'm gonna wait here about another 15 minutes and try to observe that southern end of the reef and see how it is. The good thing is the tide's coming up, so these swells should subside. At least that's my theory. Oh man, this thing keeps on poking me. Oh, I right, got a fish. Woo! <laughs> just waiting for, just waiting for those waves to uh, settle down. I got one. What are you? Oh, Ling, baby Ling. Woo! Baby Ling, guys. First fish of the day. 60 foot of water. Got this little guy. First fish of the day. Check that out. He's only about maybe 12 inches. There we go. First fish of the day. Woo! Check that out. Cool. Boom. Just right here in the middle of nowhere. And I got a fish. <laughs> that was fun. Not a bad start, I guess. So what happened is when uh, you fish in the ocean, guys, um, even though the swell is forecast to be, let's say, one to two feet, and the tide is really low, like, like right now, like a minus tide especially, it's still gonna be pretty rough. So just be aware that, you know, if you're going out in the ocean for the first time or whatnot. Ooh, there's another one. Yeah, there's another one. Yep, better one. Much better one. There we go. There we go. It's a little guy. It's a little guy. I think. I hope it's a rockfish. That would be a nice size rockfish. What are you? Oh, another baby ling. Baby ling. What? You're the same one? You have a... Wow, man. Nope, different, different ling. Jeez, dude. All right, guys, ling number two, little baby. Little baby. Is this their spawning ground or something? Okay, guys, so um, the north reef, I'm gonna stay off because it's still building up pretty good. So I'm gonna go to the south reef because I've been here for about 30 minutes and I don't see any build up here. And it looks to be safer. Not safe, just safer. Okay. So two links so far, two baby links. We need something about three times that size. Hopefully we get them up here. It is pretty calm right now. I think it's gonna get better as the time goes on because as the tide rise, it should calm down even more. That's my story, I'm sticking to it.
Ooh, is that a fish? Oh, that's a fish. Good. Yes. Much better. Yes. Big rockfish, I hope. Big rockfish. Yeah, keeper rockfish. What are you? Are you hooked good? Are you hooked good, buddy? Yeah, you're hooked good. Yeah, you're good. Oh, yeah, that's a keeper right there. That is a keeper. Come on. There we go, folks. Yeah. First fish of the day, right there, guys. Two, two and a half pounds. Nice. Nice. We will bonk you. Ooh, there's another one. There's another one. Pretty good size. Pretty good size, guys. Oh, yeah. That's another keeper. That's another keeper. There we go. Good eaters right here. Look at that, guys. Nice. Well, you know, I think we can get a bigger one. Let's let him go. Whew. That was cool. Wow, those guys are right on the reef, those kayakers. I wonder if they know. Well, at least they're on the southern end. Oh, there we go. Yep. There's a better one, guys. Oh. Oh, please let that be a rockfish. That'd be a huge rockfish. What are you? Oh, no, that's a black rockfish. Wow. That was nice size, too. Dang it. That was a good size, guys. Man, that was a good one. Dang it. Oh, there we go. There we go, guys. There's another one. There's another one. Pretty good size, I think. Another good size. Oh, about the same size as the last one I released. There we go. There we go. Okay, buddy. Man, so far, guys, it's starting off pretty hot. Two baby lings. I released two or three rockfish. All right, guys. So, homemade lure. Just a pipe strap, metal pipe strap. I straighten that out. Let's try it. Let's try it out. You never know. You don't know until you try. There it is right there. Ooh. Oh, I got a fish. <laughs> First cat. Oh, man, on a homemade lure. Dang. Lost it. You kind of, you kind of like figure, what are these fish thinking when they see these lures, you know? Like a pipe strap, but who knows? You know, their instinct is to survive, so. Man, I think that would have been a keeper. Right. The homemade lure. Oh, there we go. There we go, guys. There we go. Oh, I lost him. Dang it. Okay, it's coming up at 8 o'clock. One fish in the boat. I released several rockfish already. The bite has slowed down. The tide is coming up, so that's good. The wind picked up a little bit. Yep, finally. Finally. That's a nice fish. That's a... Oh, oh that's a ling. That's a ling. Finally a keeper. Finally. Net. 
Yeah, baby. That's a Ling, I'm pretty sure of it. I have a feeling he's gonna run. Ooh, that's a nice Ling. Ooh, that's a nice Ling. Don't shake your head. Oh. Man. Yes, Keeperling. Yeah, baby. Oh, wait a minute. Get back in the net. <laughs> okay, wrap me up again, dang it. Man. Shoot. Okay. Well, first of all, how on earth did he wrap himself up like that? Wrap around his gills, that's why. Okay, there we go. There's a nice one. Okay, we have to deal with this first. Boy, this is gonna get ugly. I know this is gonna get ugly, but we gotta measure him. Make sure he's legal. He is. Oh, he is 20. He's 25 inches. 25 inches, guys, so we can whack him. There we go. There we go. There's a nice ling right there, guys. Heck yeah. Whoa, man. That's just nuts. Finally, man. So that was cool. I came back to this spot, this old spot. Got that ling. Holy moly. Okay, guys, so we have an update for you. It is 9 o'clock. One ling, one rockfish in the boat. Kind of slow. It is an incoming high tide. And I'm hoping the bite picks up as high tide approaches. I want to get my limit. That would be nice. A limit of rockfish. You can't keep cabazon yet because it is not July and I haven't caught a cabbie in a long time. The last one I caught was like 27 inches or so. That was a nice size cabbie. There we go. Stay on buddy, stay on. Small one, small one. Small rockfish. There we go. Woo! Baby. Yeah, it's kind of small. Although I do have only one rockfish. Yeah, he's kind of small. We can get more. Go ahead, buddy. Free. Go. There he goes. There he goes. So, one baby rockfish. Where are the big ones at? I want to go to my other spot, but it's still building up. All right guys, so what happened in that video was my microphone ran out of battery, so I didn't have any sound. But anyways, we reached the end of our show and we're gonna cook these rockfish. And I got them laid down right here on the table. And we're just gonna marinate it with really simple stuff. Um, garlic powder and we got some uh, seafood seasoning. And then we're gonna add some breadcrumbs. And then we also got uh, mayonnaise and some uh, Parmesan cheese, okay? So let's cook them up. All right, pan is hot. So there it is, guys. We're using this uh, seafood seasoning right by Red Lobster. That's the filet, that's the rockfish. I regret, there's one thing I regret is tossing away those fish. I should have kept them all. So with this thing, the best thing is have the 
pan kind of low heat but that might be kind of hard to adjust so we got the oil in there all right so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in the fillet and then we're gonna spread some breadcrumbs over it right here and then we're also gonna do the parmesan cheese oh yeah parmesan cheese right here ah. gotta have that <laughs> it's gonna be good buddy yeah okay there's that we're gonna do two fillets first okay yeah. and then we'll test it okay there we go nice. look at that <laughs> sizzling all right while that's going we're gonna cover it a little bit okay that's going good there it is we got everything in there i was gonna do it in batches but we do everything all at once we'll let one side cook guys and then we'll uh flip it over and then we will add the breadcrumb golden that's what we want golden Whoa. brown look at that holy smokes come on <laughs> kind of tough there we go nice. we got it okay so we're gonna put some breadcrumbs on top of this all right breadcrumbs there we go so we're gonna cover that up we're gonna actually flip it one more time okay all right guys we just put in the breadcrumbs so now we're gonna cover it back up wait about three minutes this is probably one of my favorite way to cook rockfish Oh, it's looking good, guys. So we're going to flip it, and then we're going to add the um, Parmesan cheese, and then we'll add the mayonnaise, and then we'll cover it again in about one minute. It should be done. Is that good or what, buddy? Oh, look how nice and golden that is. Is that cool or what? So now we are going to add um, the last Parmesan, uh, not the Parmesan. We're going to add some breadcrumb a little bit on the top. Now we'll add the mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Mayo. <laughs> the mayonnaise. I don't know about you guys, maybe some people don't like mayonnaise, but it goes really well on this rockfish. The only thing I don't have with me is uh, parsley, uh -huh. and parsley will make it a little better, but I don't have it. When you're making this at home, don't forget parsley. I'm taking too long adding this. Okay, now we're gonna add Parmesan cheese. Cover it, low heat. All right guys, I got everything on here now. Um, mayonnaise, Parmesan cheese, and a little bit more breadcrumbs. So we're gonna cover it, and we're gonna go about two minutes, and then we're done. This is a lot of food. We are ready, guys. I'm panning up the fish right now. So this is yours, you hold it. What? You hold it, yeah, that's a lot of food. Yeah, the rockfish is so good. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. I made this before, I really liked it. Really? I found the recipe online. Some people put everything on it and then they just um, bake it in the oven. But I, I kind of like it this way. Mm. The fries are good too, man. Oh, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Can you eat all that? I think so. <laughs> what do you think, buddy? Good. Mm. Yeah, I shouldn't release those fish. From now on, I'm keeping every rockfish I keep, I catch. Really? Yeah. Okay. Keeping everything. I think I would have had my limit if I were to get on the North Reef. That's my favorite spot, but like I said, the swell was just way too much. But anyways, one ling, one rockfish, not too bad. Had a lot of fun. That's a lot of fish. I have a feeling you're not going to finish that. No, actually not. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, we're going to end it here. Had a great time. Kevin didn't go because obviously the ocean. I don't want him out there yet. It'll happen. Yeah.
So I want to thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Have fun fishing. Tight lines.